Hey, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to do a quick video to briefly talk about attributes. Whew, so exciting. Now, if you have prior object-oriented programming experience, this video will be a piece of cake. If you don't, it might be a little bit of a learning curve, but it really shouldn't be too bad because this concept is not hard, but you're going to see attributes a lot. So when we're working on an activity, let's just say we're on the main activity, and we have some view, such as a text view, that says, hello world. Well, this is the appearance, this is the presentation, but behind the scenes, this thing has a ton of available attributes. And if you come from object-oriented programming, you may have heard of properties. These are the same thing. So if you, if you want to understand this, think of what an attribute is. For example, for a person, you can describe a person such as me in numerous ways. You can say they're incredibly intelligent, they're extremely handsome, and so forth. These are the attributes that describe this person. When it comes to a view, we have other stuff, but it, it works exactly the same way. And all of this is going to be defined inside of the XML. So if you remember, the XML describes how this all appears. So it's going to look something like this. Now I actually have it for reference over here because there's no way I can remember it. <laughs> but we'll see if we'll see if I got it down. So it looks something like this. We have a text to view. And then we have some stuff inside and then we eventually close it using a forward slash and a greater than sign. I always forget which one. I always have to do the alligator thing or or whatever. And then inside of here, you're going to see something like this. So Android, and then a colon, and then it'll have some attribute or property. You can use those interchangeably, but in this context, it's more appropriate to say attribute. But just so you understand, they are the same concept. So Android, and then we'll have something like text. And this is the text attribute which describes what the word that shows up is. So we can say equals hello world. Now all of the syntax, don't really worry about it. You can worry about that later when you're advanced. <laughs> but the main thing you should know is that this here is double quoted and it's an example of a string. So strings just quoted sequence of characters, like so. So the value that the string is describing does not include the quotes, so it's just hello world. And that's what's gonna show up inside of, of the, the activity. <laughs> All right, so text is just one example of an attribute, but there are a lot others. So as another example, we can have clickable. So it might look like this. We'll have clickable here and then equal true. Now in this situation, it's not quoted because it's a different data type, at least I think. Oh no, it's actually quoted. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be true. I'm not gonna edit that out. You guys, you guys understand I make mistakes on occasion, very rarely, but from now, from now, time to time, I'll make a mistake. So in this situation, we are setting the clickable attribute. And this is all hard coded in the XML and later we're going to learn how to change these values inside of the code. But for now I just want you to understand that concept. And this is going to be independent for each type of view. So for example, a button, you know, that's something you can click or poke. That's going to have different attributes than text. And all the other views are going to have different attributes as well. And also if you have two of the same types of views, so for example, if we have a text view and we have another text view, these values are gonna be set independently. So this one's going to have its own value and this one will have its own value. This one can have clickable true and this one can have clickable false. It just depends on what you want for each individual view. So that's your basics of attributes, nothing too crazy. And just so you guys know where to edit these, 
You can type them out in the XML, but I don't really advise that. I think the best way is to just use the view when you're looking at the uh, activity editor and you have something like this. You select that, it's going to pop up on the right and it's going to have the attributes and you can set the values there. So that's your introduction to attributes. Now we're going to get hands-on talking about one of the most important attributes and that is actually an ID because we're going to be using the ID throughout this entire series. So we're going to learn how to set one of those and all that in the next video. So go check it out. Thank you for watching and subscribe.